Sunday's video was about Lady Barbara Dustin and recapped her actions, but we didn't have time to discuss one particular thing she did. Visit the crypts of Winterfell. Today, let's explore why Lady Dustin may have wanted to visit some dead Starks. In A Dance with Dragons, while at Winterfell for fake Arya and Ramsay Bolton's wedding, we discover that Lady Dustin has been searching for the crypts of Winterfell, and just not casually looking for them. She has her men search through all the cellars, undercrofts, and even dungeons. When all that fails to turn up the crypt's location, she goes to Theon to learn how to find them. And then she has her men work for the better part of a half hour to uncover the entrance, shifting through rubble and shoveling through snow, and then using an axe to open the frozen door. So it appears Lady Dustin really wants in those crypts. But when she gets down there, her face hardens with every step, and Theon thinks, she likes this place no more than I do. So why did Lady Dustin want to enter the crypt so desperately if she doesn't really like to be in the place? Depending on who you ask, you will get a different answer, and I want to touch on four theories why she was so interested in the Stark's resting place. Love, hate, confirmation, and the North remembers. The first theory on why she wanted to find the crypts, love, is fairly straightforward. From her reminiscing, we get the sense that Lady Dustin really loved Brandon Stark, the man that took her virginity and was her lover, and she wanted to marry him. When she couldn't be with him and then he died by Ares II's crazy shenanigans, she lost her love. It isn't uncommon for people, especially later in life, to think back on their past and loved ones and imagine what they perceive as better times and try to relive those moments. She could have wanted to visit the tomb of a Stark she loved and see the likeness of Brandon Stark one more time. Love, regret, and memories can push us to do some interesting things. Add on top of that George using it as a time to give much needed details for future books and plots, and this could be a reasonable explanation for her visit. The next theory is she wanted to visit the crypts out of hate. She loved Brandon Stark, and when he was betrothed to Catelyn Tully, Lady Dustin blamed Brandon's father, Rickard Stark, and his maester for taking Brandon away from her. She states that Brandon never wanted Catelyn, and it was Rickard and his maester's ambitions that made it that she couldn't be with her love. Lady Dustin would say after that, and after it was clear that she wouldn't marry Ned, the only person left for her to marry was Lord William Dustin. But not six months into that marriage, and Ned Stark would call his bannermen to fight in Robert's Rebellion, leading to Lord Dustin being one of the men that went with Ned to the Tower of Joy. But Lord Dustin would die during the fight, and Ned would return Lord Dustin's horse to Barbary Dustin, and not his bones, which Ned buried beneath the Red Mountains in Dorne. This greatly angered Lady Dustin, as Ned had returned his sister's bones, but not her husband's. Lady Dustin is so pissed about this that she has been waiting for Ned's bones to appear, stating she's going to stop them from ever resting in the crypts of Winterfell, and instead, the bones will be fed to her dogs. There's a lot of dialogue that drives home how much Lady Dustin hates the Starks. She even outright says she doesn't love them. With all this hate towards the Starks, and knowing that she is a prickly person that knows how to nurse a grievance, it isn't hard to imagine that she wanted to visit the crypts out of hate for the Starks, besides Brandon. Maybe visiting a bunch of dead Starks makes her happy because of her grudge against the family. Uh, ha ha, look at you now and look at me. I couldn't be one of you, but you wanna know what? It worked out splendidly for me in the end. She even throws a lingering look at the likeness of Eddard Stark. Maybe gloating? Your bones will never rest here. I'll make sure you never have peace. Just like my husband's bones, never had peace at his own home. So gloating and a hate visit doesn't seem too unreasonable, and again, George using it as a time for additional information to be laid out. The third theory is confirmation. Many readers believe that Lady Dustin knows fake Arya was a fake, and she wanted to look at the faces of the Stark family, the statues in the crypts, to confirm those suspicions, to see if Arya is lacking typical Stark features. There is little evidence to back this up besides Theon believes Lady Dustin has suspicions about fake Arya, and after having fake Arya in her company before the wedding, it is likely Lady Dustin either knows or has strong suspicions and investigating the crypts may have cemented her doubts. Although I'm not sure how great of a plan that would be as statues aren't the best way to confirm features, but Theon does note her lingering glance at the likeness of Ned Stark, but there doesn't appear to be any hatred in that glance. 
What if Lady Dustin knows that Arya was known to have her father's features, and was confirming that this fake Arya had none of Ned's? And finally, the fourth theory, the North remembers. This theory believes that Lady Dustin is actually against the Boltons. Some believe that Lady Dustin knows about Bran and Rickon, and a few details of their escape. This goes back to Lady Dustin stating, the North remembers, to a fray while they are trying to figure out who is responsible for the deaths at Winterfell. This echoes Lord Manderley's words and may give us a hint that Manderley has somehow informed her himself, or through someone else, about Rickon and Bran and is now working with her, or trying to get her to work with them. Typically, this theory states that she got the information from Horsbane and Stout, who in turn got it from Manderley. When Manderley gets the information to her, maybe Wex informing him about Bran and co taking the swords and then he passes this information on, Barbary goes to the crypts to confirm that story and questions Theon on the missing swords to see how much truth Manderley's words have. However, she could simply have questioned that because she notices some statues had missing swords. An intelligent, observant person would probably ask that question. But if she was trying to confirm Manderley's story, this could explain why Lady Dustin shared so much personal information with Theon she didn't need to, because she knew it'd get back to Ramsay and Roos that she was in the crypts and she wanted a cover for her behavior. This theory may be a bit weak when we question why any of the Northern Lords would trust her enough to inform her of their plans to turn on Roos and the phrase. She has ties to Roos Bolton, she doesn't appear to be forced into an alliance with him, and, as far as we know, she is open about her dislike of the Starks. Lady Dustin is also in a better position of power, with Roos as Warden of the North. Until Ramsay takes over, and then that's probably not good for anyone. She really doesn't sound like someone you share your let's screw over Roos Bolton plans with. So is she really looking to betray Roos? Despite the love we know that she had for Roos' son, and hatred for his bastard Ramsay, Lady Dustin's feelings towards Roos are a bit interesting. She considers him a passionless man without feelings, stating he does not love, does not hate, does not grieve, and that everything is a game to him, mildly diverting. She believes Roos views people as playthings. That isn't exactly a favorable way to describe someone, but maybe she respects a man that is able to get what he wants. As mentioned in the earlier video, she also shows a level of disrespect towards Roos that Roos tolerates, which isn't our typical pale Bolton to suffer such insults, especially when you consider is this how a vassal should talk to the Warden of the North. This hints at a special relationship between the two. There are two major thoughts on this relationship. One, they are lovers or extremely close. Roos appears to have a lot of trust in Lady Dustin, and Lady Dustin talks to him in a way that few would dare. There would have to be a lot of trust if Roos allowed fake Arya to be in her custody, where Lady Dustin likely found out who she really is. Lady Dustin is also close to Roos during the interrogations over the Winterfell murders. She is one of the few he keeps by him and trying to figure out what is going on. Of course, Roos could also be including her and making her feel involved because he realizes she has a prickly nature, he doesn't want to insult her, and he realizes that he desperately needs her and her men. And Roos really has no reason to doubt her loyalty, because he feels that she is loyal to the Boltons mostly because she still holds Ned Stark to blame for her husband's death. But maybe Lady Dustin is against Roos. Some believe that Lady Dustin fed Theon what she wanted him to hear, knowing he'd report back to Roos and or Ramsay. By going on about her hate of the Starks, she is cementing her loyalty to the Boltons and keeping Roos close to her. So what is some other evidence that she may be working against Roos? Well, Lady Dustin is an intelligent woman, and she probably knows that no matter how much she hated the Starks, the North was a lot safer and better under their rule than the Boltons. We have read about characters pointing out how different the North is now that the Starks aren't the Wardens, and the comparisons aren't very favorable towards the Boltons. This alone could lead Lady Dustin to making some type of plan to remove the Boltons. She realizes how terrible the North is with their rule. But there's another big reason she might not be as pro Bolton as we think. She's a woman that nurses grievances. And yes, she has a bit of a problem with the Starks, but we also know she has a big problem with Ramsay, who she suspects killed her beloved nephew. If she is so pissed at Ned for not bringing back the bones of her husband of less than six months, imagine how she'd feel towards the person that she suspects murdered a boy that was her own blood, her page, and someone that she had grown to love over the years. Is this the type of woman that is going to allow Ramsay Bolton, Roos's heir, to inherit the North and get everything her nephew should have had? The Starks she hated are dead. And even if she doesn't want to see a Stark retake the North, 
it might be more likely she's moved on to a new target to get revenge on, especially with the Stark she hated being dead. And going back to her earlier remark to the phrase, we know some of her men from both House Dustin and Riswell are killed at the Red Wedding and she states the North remembers, oddly mimicking Lord Wyman Manderley's statement. Would a woman that holds grudges want to keep seeing the phrase reaping rewards for killing her men? This video was full of a lot of speculation. What are your theories on Lady Barbara Dustin? Loyal to Roose Bolton? Secretly working with the other Northerners to take out Roose in the phrase? Why do you think she wanted to visit the Crypts of Winterfell? A woman sentimental about the past, or part of a bigger plan? Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video. It helps the channel out a lot. New Game of Thrones, a song of ice and fire videos at least twice a week. Next Wednesday is another Essos videos. I switched the days around just a little bit so that we could get the Barbara Dustin videos all in one week. If you're confused about the Essos Wednesday videos, please see the schedule update. Besides that, Stark Month will be starting soon.